All right then, morning. It's day two here in uh, Aberdeen, and we, it's about time we, let's just have a seat. There we go. Save my legs uh, as much as I can. Going to be going to uh, Dundee today, but we are going to be doing as many stations as we can uh, between here, Aberdeen, and Dundee. We're going to start with Aberdeen. Yep, Aberdeen, this early in the morning. I know, folks. Uh, and then we are going to go to uh, Montrose, Arbroath, Carnoustie, Monifief, Broughty Ferry, get to Dundee, turn around and do Dundee, and then from Dundee uh, back to Stonehaven, Hopefully then, we can get to do Lawrence Kirk. I hope so. That's the plan. I think you'll agree, plenty of stations to do. There are a few more stations that I can do. Saving them for Monday. There's a reason, but we're saving them for Monday. So, we're just about to leave now. Surprisingly, I slept uh, rather nicely. Um, I did wake up in the middle of the night around about half twelve. Stuff like that. But as soon as I did, straight back to sleep. Felt good. But I'll get more uh, tonight, I know. So, uh, yeah. Let's go to uh, let's go to Dundee. For the first time. Clean at platform 6, it's the 07 or 8. Start drill service to Edinburgh. Calling out to Stonehaven, Montrose, Arbroath, Dundee, Haymarket and Edinburgh. This train is far now. Aberdeen and we're going to jump on Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma's over there. But not only have we got Kurt Zuma here, look who else is here. Sleeper's here. Yeah, 73, uh, this Bro. 
Rose, or I might change it and go Stonehaven first. Because, uh, yeah, the weather's god awful. And, and I do mean god awful. So, we'll jump on the buddy boy here, and then we'll uh, think about it as we go along. Thanks, BBC. in Aberdeen. That's the way I'm telling you. Okay folks, we're at Bontrose Station. It's a ScotRail operated station with three platforms. They said two then, but it's uh, three. Uh, and this was the station I was actually getting confused with Stonehaven because uh, over the bridge there, I can't show it you now because it's a bit murky, is the Stonemason Stonemason Stone Mason Montrose Basin. Um, Basically, the North Sea flows in under a bridge where that 158 is going now. It flows in and it comes in to fill the basin. It's also not as uh, wet and windy as the weather forecasted as well. Now, slight change of plan. Very slight, very slight. Uh, instead of going on the 943 Scott Rail service, we're going on the 927 Scott Rail service because there has been a cancellation on the other side. Uh, that being the 940 to Aberdeen uh, due to, although they say there's a train that's pulled in on the far side. I'll check on that. I don't see anything. Um, so we'll get the 927 because the one extra train we get, which would have been my train, the 943, we can get it at Arbroath. Uh, and that will be our next station. So. Let's go do some trains. This certainly is our broth. It's a beautiful station, is our broth. Sounds like the kind of station that would roll off his tongue for Scottish, wouldn't it? Our broth. Hello, folks. We're at our bro station. It's a ScotRail operated station with two platforms, although I think there's a third platform. Uh, because uh, it looks, uh, actually, the track looks run down, so it probably is just two platforms. It's a lovely Caledonia style station. I definitely picked up on the Caledonia vibe uh, when I arrived, certainly down the bottom uh, end. But the, also down the bottom end is this lovely, lovely painting uh, of uh, the Declaration of Our Broth done back in 1984, I believe it was. And right about now, you're going to hear me talk a bit about the Declaration of Arbroath. I'll even put the paint in him. So I hope you enjoyed that. So anyway, we're now waiting for Kurt Zuma. That's what I'm calling them, Kurt Zumas. Uh, he's going to 
be the next train in. He'll go to uh, London King's Cross. And then uh, it's onwards for me, onto the Arbroath Edinburgh services to get down to Carnoustie, Monofeef and Broughty Ferry. And he took me very much by surprise there, folks. surprise again. We're now heading for Carnoustie. Ah, the white horses are rushing in. You know what that means, don't you? Carnoustie's not gonna be any fun, is it? Oh, 
last Call of Duty for you. Alright, alright, alright. I'll go get a hangout. Folks, welcome to Car News It's a Scott Rail operating station with two platforms, and all you need is the golf to be on just down the road at Car News Golf Links. Can you hear that? Something is they're shooting something down there. I don't know what it uh, is. Or is that just the noise of the waves crashing against the wall? It's that bad. But yeah, all you need is the golf on just down the road at Car News Golf Links, and you've got yourself a party. Oh, typical British Open weather. You can see him there on the tees, fighting for that lovely claret jug. Oh, it's fantastic. I, it is actually a station I've wanted to do for a while, Car News Thing, and finally we uh, get the opportunity to do it, although uh, I didn't like the price it took me to uh, get to Dundee. So, um, yeah, we're here for an hour, and then we're going to move down to Monifief. Uh, passing through the two stations of Golf Street and Barry Links, which I believe are two of the least used in Scotland. Not the two, but two of. We'll see though. at Carnoustie. Proper golf course is Carnoustie. Proper golf course. a bit of a drop to say the least. Folks, next up is uh, Monifief, Scott Rail operated two platforms and as you can see I've uh, taken to a, a little corner because basically that's the only place I can get some fucking peace. <sighs> that wind is brutal, let me tell you. I think it's up at about 20-30 miles an hour. Add the fact that it's a coastal area as well, it's even worse. But let, listen to it. We got perspex sheets for bus shelters, right? Listen to it. It's just. Thankfully, we've still got two stations to go down this way Broughty Ferry and Dundee. And then we can go home. Well, we'll go to Stonebridge. But I can have an hour on the train to warm up. Lovely. Anyway, like I said, we're just finishing up here at, uh, we've got about 17 minutes for our train, and then uh, it's off to uh, Broughty Ferry.
Ferry. Look at them all, it's like a mass exodus. Here we are then folks at Broughty Ferry Station. It is Scott Rail operated, two platforms and it's gorgeous. It is fucking gorgeous. I mean just just look at it. Look at it. It looks absolutely pretty. look at this look at it. I don't think you could let me see if I can go uh, just over here so you could actually see it. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, down here looks just as beautiful as well, going into that sort of cutting area. But, oh my God, I find some right dog turd stations every now and then. But then I, every every sort of I come across a little beauty, and this is, that is the case with Broughty Ferry. I've come across a little beauty. Anyway, I'm just sheltering in the bike shelter because the wind is awful. Although, to be fair, it's not actually uh, as bad here at Broughty Ferry as I thought it would be. But uh, we got free passes. And then... We're at Dundee. That's not going to be fun. I, I know it's not going to be fun. Because I'm, I'm telling you it's not going to be fun. But let's hope it is. I got a feeling this is gonna be uh, a good one. Here we are at Dundee. Yeah, right then, folks, we're at Dundee. Lovely Dundee. It's got rail operated four platforms to its name. Uh, and I've got 17404 for company. Say hello, 17404. No? Miserable sod. Yeah, it's not. Uh, Gonna be a good stint, I think, because uh, next up we got the uh, HST going to Queen Street. Basically, I can hang around this bottom area and it and back and forth between the two platforms. Doesn't that feel so peaceful when uh, that happens? Gotta say, the wind is still being a bit of a twat at the minute as well. Don't you just love it when uh, the winds are twat? Anywho, like I said, we're just waiting for this uh, Scott Rail HST. 
and then uh, we are on our way to well wait for the uh, Azuma to take us to Stonehaven and I do think Stonehaven will be our last station because uh, I can't then justify the 15 minute 158 ride back to Lawrence Kerr so I think I think if we're honest Stonehaven might be it and then uh, we'll call it a day but as like I said it depends how I feel I could feel uh, very differently anyway trains Hello, would you like me to call you a taxi? Maybe the elevator is at the same time? Good lord! Um, how's it looking in there? Doesn't look too bad actually. Just leaving uh, Dundee. flow 
comes in or out. Hello Stonehaven. Goodbye Azumas. Uh, here we are then at Stonehaven, last station of the day. Abelio Scott Rail Manager with two platforms as well. Let me just back up here so you can see it. It's a lovely single box. Not sure if it's working though. I think it's not. Because the light, when I went past the lights were all off. It makes you wonder where the signals are all controlled from. You can definitely tell we had some platforms over here, though, can't you? You can definitely tell that, can't you? Old beat down, run down platforms. Who loves them, eh? Anyway, we're, like I said, it's the last station. We're not going to do Lawrence Kirk. Can't bother. So uh, we are going to disappear on the, I think it was 1759, it's a HST anyway, it's the only way to get there, in my opinion. Let's go.
again, Aberdeen. Oh, there's a 158 in the bay now. Seven Eleven. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, all right then. So, uh, yeah, we're back. Uh, we're back at the hotel. Uh, I'm warming through very nicely, and it's safe to say that that was uh, was a good day. Um, I think it will take that as a win that we got Aberdeen and Dundee done without. Uh, Hey, you dad want to go fuck somewhere else? Uh, yeah. What was I saying? That's what I was saying. Um, to get Aberdeen and uh, Dundee done without any hassle, I think we'll uh, take that as a victory. Uh, also, uh, gotta say that, uh, A lot of the stations we were doing, traffic was probably about as max as they can get. We did have one cancellation, but that, that was it, just one. No freight to be expected, but you know what? I'll take it because we should have had absolutely shocking weather all day. And to only get it bet around Abbott, well, we only did uh, really Montrose in the awful weather and even then it wasn't that bad so uh yeah win so that's the end of that vlog hope you enjoyed thanks for watching if you did you know what to do by now you all know what to do by now can't keep explaining it to you enough but uh we're going back to dundee tomorrow gonna join up with uh with phil again and we're going after uh some buses I think uh, as long as I can walk away with uh, 13116 from Arbroath Depot, we'll take that. Uh, I'm also noticing, it doesn't look like my hair is... Looks like I've gone bald right here. <laughs> uh, it won't be like that tomorrow, guarantee you. Um, yeah, 13116. Uh, we walk away with that, I'll take that. But we're also going with some of the uh, new BYDs that uh, National Express have had for Route uh, 28. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. They're all uh, around me as we speak. I'm now about to pour myself hot chocolate. And it's bedtime. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, we'll see you for the next vlog. Which will be for me tomorrow. But for you guys, it'll be a few days. You know what I mean. They're all around me right now. Take care.